Hello, I'm Joanne Turner reporting for Total Telecom and I'm here at the Huawei Global MBB Forum in Hong Kong this week and I'm talking to Hank Coopermans from Newell Limited. Hank, welcome to the forum. So obviously there's a lot of talk here this week about narrowband IoT and you know how it's really being taken seriously by the industry. So what makes narrowband IoT different to other technologies to tap into the LPWA market? Yeah, first of all, narrowband IoT, the great thing about it, it's a standardized uh, technology and that advantage has, uh, is, is manifold. First of all, a standardized technology for the industry by default means economy of scale. It means cheaper chips, cheaper modules. Then narrowband IoT is specif specifically attractive because it makes use of existing infrastructure, which means it's more cost effective in terms of implementation and it's really fast to market because of deployment. And I think finally I would say that for a lot of people, and this is really important, customers through a standardized uh, technology get the opportunity to have a high level of confidence with respect to reliability and security, which is really important. Looking at from a technical perspective, uh, narrowband IoT is, is particularly attractive. I think it's the most attractive option on the table because it has a really uh, low terminal uh, power consumption. It is the best technical uh, solution with respect to coverage. And that's really important. And finally, I would say it's really, really attractive because it could really scale up to tens of thousands of terminals per cell. And that's really, really important. Standing a little bit back from the technology, it all adds up to a solution where you have an end-to-end -end, uh, solution with a really, really low uh, total cost of ownership and that's really important from the final application. Okay, so one of the announcements that you've made here at the forum is about the NBIoT Alliance. Yeah. So, so why is such an alliance important and what benefit will it bring to the industry? Yeah, the, the Narrowband IoT Alliance is, is, is really an important step because uh, it, it will boost in the first instance the ecosystems of partners and collaborators and, and together we will develop new use cases, we will come up with new opportunities, and, and this is really good for the industry. And together, we will make sure that the deployment of applications is the fastest to market. And uh, the alliance will come together and will actually be launched in early 2016. Okay, so a week of announcements, because also you've, you've announced that there will be a narrowband IoT open labs yeah. um, coming, in, coming into the market. So what, what benefits will that bring? Yeah, that's really exciting because these are the facilities on the ground. When, when we're actually looking at uh, bringing together partners and collaborators, and, and what it actually means is uh, we will develop new service innovations based on the narrowband mm -hmm. IoT technology. And, and really interesting is that we will boost, of course, further the industry, but this will be the place where you do uh, interoperability testing and where we will do product uh, compliance certification. And I suppose finally the thing to say about the open labs is because it's already in the name, what was really, really interesting, I think, for everyone is that the results of new business models and new use cases will be shared with the whole industry. So I think that it's a great facility. And how will that interact with the alliance that's being formed? I think, I think really the alliance is the first step and it brings partners and collaborators together and the open labs is the thing on the ground. So when, when, when customers out there are actually putting equipment together, develops putting equipment together and this is the place where they can really test it together uh, with service operators, with application developers, with technology providers. And this, this is the place where it's all going to happen in real, in real life. Yeah. Hank, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you very much indeed. Great. Yeah.